According to the online dating website, FarmersOnly.com, there are two types of Americans. Those who buy a $4 cup of coffee before jumping into a taxi cab, and those who raise animals and drive tractors. FarmersOnly.com claims its membership has grown from 2,000 to more than 100,000 members in the last five years. The website launched in 2005 by a man from the Buckeye State named Jerry Miller. It estimates it is responsible for about one wedding every week. I asked students what they think of the website that's geared toward helping single farmers find love. I think it's great. I mean, I am not a farmer. I don't come from an agricultural background, but I think people that want to connect with other people like that, by all means, I think it's something that they could find a relevant experience on. So I think it's great. I personally don't like them, but I can see a purpose in them. And I think it's good that at least it's like similar people, finding similar people. I mean, it's a great way for people to like meet. And if they're from like a small town, I mean, it's hard. There's not that many people. So it's like a good way to like communicate and just network, I guess. The students weighed in on whether they would ever join the site with a slogan that reads, you don't have to be lonely with farmers only. Yeah, I mean, I probably would. Like I said, if, if you're interested in something like that and, and that's part of your life and you want to meet other people who share that passion, then absolutely, you could, you could find something that's maybe valuable out of it. So I would absolutely take a look at it. No, probably because it is just really risky and it's just not worth it. Um, sure, why not? According to the website, one satisfied member named Amy says she met her husband through the service. She describes him as being the farmer that every farm girl dreams of. Go to thelantern.com and tell us what you think about unconventional dating websites. For The Lantern, I'm Kayla Strayer.